One of the things I get complimented most on in my digital paintings is the way that I paint trees and bushes and other foliage. And it's funny to me because it's actually the easiest thing that I do. I use a custom shapes technique that I adapted from Hardy Fowler's custom shapes technique. Um, but they don't have custom shapes in Procreate, so I, I figured out a way to, to make a stamp brush out of tree shapes. But basically you just stamp the tree and then you put it on alpha lock and then you find a leafy looking brush and sort of just go expressively, impressionistically over top of it and it ends up looking pretty real. But like I said, um, they don't have the custom shapes functionality in Procreate, which is my preferred software um, and so I had to figure out a way to adapt it because in Photoshop you can import these custom shapes into your thing and then you can mess around with them and basically you just have to make a stamp brush and then you can use the warp tool to, to do the same kind of thing um, so I'm going to show you how to do that um, but first we need to find a tree shape so we're going to use Blender uh, Blender is a free software if you've never used it before it can be kind of tricky we're going to be using the Sketchfab add-on, which is free and allows you to get free and royalty-free um, assets. So I just found this tree. This is the one I want. So I'm going to, um, I put it in the scene and I deleted the other ones. We're going to add some sunshine so that um, it lights properly because we're going to do a silhouette. So we're going to um, go up to the little camera icon in a minute and go down to film and then select transparency. Um, and then we're just going to export this um, and bring it into Photoshop and then we are going to um, bring down the brightness on it to zero so that it's just a black silhouette of the tree. And then we're going to export it again and we're going to bring it into Procreate. So once you have it in Procreate, uh, import photo we're going to size it up to where we want it and center it in the middle of the canvas. And then we are going to actually flip this. So we're going to go to um, brightness again and flip it all the way up. So then now it's a white outline. We're going to take out the background and we're just going to copy this layer. We're going to go into brush library and add new brush. And then down in shape, we're going to add shape or edit shape and um, paste this into what we're doing. Now we're going to go up to stroke path and we're going to put spacing up to maximum. Now we're going down to uh, the properties panel and I always get this mixed up and I'm going to put preview size up to full but I don't actually want that so I'm going to bring it back down and we're going to go to the maximum size under brush behavior and maximum size goes all the way up. And now you're going to name your brush. Um, I'm going to call this uh, Blender Tree 01. And click done. And now you have a tree stamp brush that you can use as a custom shape. And again, you can just edit it to um, be different because you don't want it to be a full stamp. You want it to look a little different. So you can use the warp tool to switch it up. But um, now you just put it on alpha lock like we did at the beginning grab your leaf or foliage brush. I'm using the ones from Hardy Fowler's um, course, and then you just draw it on, and you have realistic looking trees in your paintings. Try it out, let me know how it looks. I'm Jeff Baker Draws. If you like this video, hit that like button, hit that follow button, and follow me at Jeff Baker Draws on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Threads for art tutorials, animations, process videos, and autism advocacy. See you next time.